The average cost of bringing a single new drug to market is more than 1 billion US dollars. Recently, the success rate of new drugs has decreased, even as investment has increased. A key step in developing a new drug is to identify a molecular target in the body that is directly involved in the disease process and whose function the drug must change. If we can find better ways of identifying drug targets, we may be able to bring down the cost of drug development. For many diseases, the drug targets are protein molecules, so we focus our research on these. We use new developments in genetics to study how these targets affect a range of diseases. These developments provide an opportunity to find out how changing protein levels can affect diseases, mimicking the action of possible future drugs on treating or preventing these diseases. Our approach depends on large genetic data sets and innovative statistical methods. Researchers in our unit have compiled a database of genetic variants linked to over 30,000 human traits, including cardiovascular diseases and cancers. Our unit has also developed innovative statistical methods such as Mendelian randomization to enable us to use these genetic data sets to accurately predict how drug targets affect diseases. We combined this with another new method called genetic co-localization to create a novel analytical pipeline which we expect will hugely improve the process of drug development. We have already used this pipeline to identify possible new drug targets identifying the causal effects of 65 proteins on 52 different diseases. We have made the results of this work available on EpigraphDB, our database that links proteins with diseases via an accessible graphical interface. Our pipeline can also check that an existing drug target is, indeed, directly involved in a disease process. We call this drug target validation. We have already validated the effect of a new drug targeting IL-23R that is now in late-stage drug development for Crohn's disease. The same approach can also predict the success or potential side effects of new drug targets. For example, the protein haptoglobin protects red blood cells. Our colleagues have shown that the same protein may also be a good drug target for lowering blood lipid levels. We have also applied these methods to find new uses for existing drugs. Our results suggest that tocilizumab, a rheumatoid arthritis drug, could be used for cardiovascular disease prevention. Overall, we estimate that our prioritization approach could increase the success rate of drug development fivefold. As more large-scale protein studies are carried out, our pipeline has the potential to identify many more drug targets and repurposing opportunities. We hope that, as a result of our research, drug companies will be able to invest their research budgets in the drug targets that are most likely to be successful, so reducing the cost of future drug development.